Yo, what's going on guys, Arax here. Welcome back to another Monster Hunter Double Cross video. And in today's video, we are gonna be taking a look at Brave Switch Axe. Now, as mentioned in my other video the other day, I am gonna be doing some more in-depth videos, kind of like Weapon Workshop style for Brave and Alchemy. But I'm gonna do that in a couple of weeks once I've had a chance to really test out the weapons, learn all the intricacies and work out everything you need to know. So they are coming, just kind of wait a little bit longer for those. So until then, what I'm gonna be doing is picking out some weapons and just sort of showing you guys some gameplay. I showed you some snippets from those in my kind of early impressions video the other day, but there are a few that I really do want to highlight. So Switch Axe is one of them. I'll of course be doing Great Sword as well, but further to that point, if there are any you particularly would like to see, do let me know down below and I can of course highlight those. That also goes for Alchemy too, Brave and Alchemy. I'll be doing videos of those over the coming week and whatnot. So it should hopefully give you guys a chance to look at the weapons in relatively good detail. But for the time being, I'm going to show you guys a hunt against Baroth using the Brave Switch Axe. Now, this is not the best hunt in the world. It's not a speedrun or anything like that. But what I did do is focus specifically on showing you one of the main things you can do with Switch Axe because Brave Switch Axe is incredible. It is so powerful and it's so much fun to use. It's borderline hack and slash the way it is right now, but it's also equal parts hilarious and, as mentioned, very, very powerful. So to give you guys some context, if you look back to, say, Generations or Cross, you are probably very much aware if you're a Switch Axe user you spend a lot of time in sword mode simply because it's powerful and in generations, thanks to the hunter arts, it is entirely possible to never have to leave sword mode if you have the right combination. And of course, one of the knock-on effects of that being that you tend to not really use axe much, doesn't really get much of a kind of say or a kind of a look in. So to that point, it's more of a switch sword. However, in double cross, they've buffed the kind of switching attacks. Plus it gets a double file burst. You also get a quick step, which you'll see in a bit. But the thing I want to focus on specifically is the switch combo. So effectively, once you have your Brave Meter maxed out, to begin with, of course, once you want to build that, the fastest way to build it is still going to be through sword. So if you switch to sword, you initiate the Brave Stance and you then just do a regular attack. Then after probably six to eight attacks, you're going to be maxed out in Brave. So it doesn't take you too long. But once you've got that going, you are then in a very interesting position. Of course, once you do have your Brave Meter maxed out, you can, as mentioned, quick step. If you're in sword mode, you can quick step, but there's kind of a gap in between each step. But if you're in axe mode, you can chain all of these together so you can cover ground pretty fast. So I think it goes without saying that any of these weapons that get this quick step, like Great Sword as well, you're probably going to want to run with Mega Dash Juice just because if you do that, you can then quick step your way across the entire level. Very, very good. However, what I want to turn my attention to is the aforementioned switch combo. When you have your Brave Meter maxed out, after any attack, it can be Y, it can be X, it can be A. If you then press R and just continually press R, you effectively then go into this infinite chain that swaps between sword and axe. It's pretty powerful. It doesn't actually use stamina, so you literally can spam this no end, provided you have Brave Meter. Of course, do bear in mind it moves you around a fair bit and the monster would of course move by then, but if you're in a position where say you're fighting a big monster, maybe like an Elder Dragon, one of those kind of boss monsters, or it's say pinned with a trap, shock or whatever, then you can sit here and wail on the monster. Now, one of the best ways to do this would of course be to lead with Y simply because that initiates a brave attack. So this then gives you a means to build the meter back up whilst you're attacking, but you can similarly just go from say an X attack or an A attack, as I said before. So depending on the combos that you're going towards, maybe your mid combo, you then want to suddenly go into this wide slashing attack. You can then just begin spamming R. It's very similar to trans slash in that respect in that it does cover all the ground. It also trips very heavily. This is literally trip hell or trip heaven, depending on the way you want to look at it. Longsword users are no longer going to be the biggest trip threats. It's now going to be switch axe in brave using this combo. It's powerful, but oh my gosh, if anybody else is nearby, they're not going to be able to do anything. So you're probably going to want to use this more so if you're hunting solo or alternatively get a group of four switch axe people together. That could be fun. That's something I do definitely want to see. Unfortunately, the demo doesn't have online, so I can't test that out, but safe to say, Four Switch Axe users in Brave and spamming this combo are going to be a sight to behold. Now for the remainder of this video, I'm just going to let you guys watch some of the gameplay so you can actually see the Switch Axe in use. As mentioned, it's not a perfect hunt, but it does do a good job of showcasing exactly how much you can spam this move. I pretty much used that move exclusively for the entirety of this hunt, so I didn't go into any of the conventional Sword or Axe combos. I literally opened every attack with Y to go into Brave Stance and then literally just spammed R. So it should give you guys a really good look at how this works. Anyway, for the time being, that's it for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you enjoyed a look at the weapon, some of the sort of changes, some of the stuff it can do. Be sure to comment down below. Give me your thoughts. Let me know what else you guys would like to see. If you missed any of the other Double Cross videos I uploaded at the tail end of last week, definitely check those ones out. But also be sure to keep it locked because there's plenty more coming. For the time being, thanks for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.